Hello. Um, today I wanted to talk about the oblong box, the film I got from Kino Lorber uh, not too long ago. Um, yeah, this is um, <clears throat> inspired uh, based upon the uh, short story um, by Edgar Allan Poe, but it's one of those that's like loosely based on it, like the overall gist of it, of uh, a body being transported from one place to another is sort of like the overall gist, but you know, the body inside of the, like the coffin, you know, uh, isn't dead, uh, you know, the person's alive. Um, you know, that's the gist of it. Um, Vincent Price is the star of the film. He plays, um, <clears throat> Julian, and he's, uh, trying to help his brother Edward, who, uh, uh, throughout the film, we, uh, uh, are able to piece together what sort of happened. You know, they, the two of them were in Africa, um, as it <laughs> says here. You know, uh, Prince, uh, uh, Prince's character uh, returns to his English manor after an African trip with his mad, mutilated brother and uh, buries his chained-up sibling alive. Um, though, of course, he doesn't know that. And uh, because of he's disfigured, like, because um, something transpired that uh, we find out what happens. Uh, <clears throat> as the film goes on, as to what exactly happened and as to why he was mutilated. You know, like his face is all, like, just unpresentable uh, for the outside world and has to be locked up uh, upstairs, away from people, with only Julian and the butler um, interacting with him. And occasionally somebody else will you know, come and talk to them and hail you know, with this person that they have a plan to get him out of there to then fix his face. You know, with like a, somebody with a uh, does voodoo or essentially or witchcraft, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, sorry, it's a bit late, but I've, uh, you know, rewatched it again and it's still quite good but you know they basically you know you know somebody's gonna, supposed to help him um uh there's some uh, complications of sort um like they have to have a dead body uh because of the uh, customs of the time the 1800s you know of when somebody dies people come together a decent number of people not everybody but a decent number of people come together, look at the body, and since so many people have not seen him for quite some time, you know, um, it won't really matter who, but these people um, kill this one guy and then uh, use him as the body uh, that people see to, uh, you know, uh, just before, like, the funeral, and during this time, like, the, uh, Edward's body is put in a coffin, and then, and then put that and bury him, in the, uh, bury him alive, and then they get him, and they bring the body to a doctor, played by Christopher Lee, who then keeps Edward there, and, uh, in, in his home, and then he puts, like, this red, like, red cloth basically over his face as to not be seen and there's a good picture of it of course Vincent Price and Edward and Christopher Lee um and yeah and you know Edward then wants his revenge on those who were going to help him but weren't or didn't and just you know he just wants his revenge and he's also 
has gone mad <clears throat> uh, from the experience and you know uh, this film isn't doesn't seem to be very widely known or talked about so I don't want to spoil what all happens but you know it's very interesting um I'm glad I got this film because it's, it's just very it's just very well done it's a horror film of the late 60s um it's not like i wouldn't say this is necessarily like hammer like a hammer film but in some ways it sort of has a kind of a spirit of it um if that makes any sense um even then i'm probably not even doing it all that good justice but it's a very good film it's a fine film um You know that uh, this is just um, one of those films that you know it was a blind buy. Uh, you know Vincent Price and Christopher Lee. I enjoy both of their works. Um, I, as I said before in the video where I talked about just getting this, I love Edgar Allan Poe. Um, he is my favorite author. And I guess writer, whatever. Um, and so, you know, I've seen various films uh, that say they're Edgar Allan Poe, uh, films like Roger Corman produced films like Fall of the House of Usher. I think that's one where it is fairly, you know, as faithful as you could be, you know, of taking like a short story and stretching it out to a feature-length film you know the overall major beats are there um and in some ways from what i recall of the story the major beats are you know are there though of course it does you know they have um obviously differences like like the I think some of the locations, at least, are not exact from the story, but, you know, there's enough uh, of it that is intact that, that is a pretty good adaptation. And, uh, yeah, if you uh, enjoy anything from Edgar Allan Poe, like his stuff, you enjoy Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, and you haven't seen the movie... I think it'd be worth a watch. Um, and, uh, yeah, it wasn't too expensive either. It was about, like, 20 bucks, I believe. So, pretty inexpensive. You know, it's Kino Lorber. Um, I want to get more films from them. Um, there's like a number, like they have the Dollars Trilogy, you know, the, the man with no name, Clint Eastwood, those spaghetti westerns, um, has Runaway Train, which is a film I love, uh, or at least very much enjoy. I think that's a film that um, John Voight should have won an Academy Award for, personally. Um, that film has Eric Roberts. But yeah, yeah Keanu Lorber has so many great films. I got Phantom of the Opera also. I want to get uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, uh, Nosferatu, and um, the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Um, they just have a lot of excellent films. Similar to like, you know, Shout Factory or Scream Factory, if it's horror. Um, the Criterion Collection, of course. And um, I don't have any films from this company, but Arrow. You know, I want to get... Um, Robocop from Arrow one day, but you know, it, um, the special features, if you're really into that, it might be lacking, you know, there's uh, audio commentary, um, if you're interested in that, uh, Edgar Allan Poe's Annabelle Lee, narrated by Vincent Price, 
and then there's radio spots in the theatrical trailer and uh there you go um this film came out in 1969 and it's rated r um for some violence and sexual content and um yeah and there's some nudity too so you know uh i'll just say that very good film um is region a so unless you have a region free player or you know you're able to just um <clears throat> uh, i guess have a hack uh, a player or something and able to make it uh region free you know there you go uh but yeah, I hadn't really thought much about this uh, prior to just looking and seeing what was on, you know, in Keel Lorber. Uh, because I, you know, I, I've wanted to get some more films from them, and this just seemed like a good one, you know, based on an Edgar Allan Poe story. Stars Vincent Price and Christopher Lee. And it was a very good film. Very well made, and um, yeah, for a blind buy, with knowing just the, recalling the overall gist of the story that this is uh, inspired from, you know, um, it's been, again, it's been a while since I've seen like some of those Roger Corman produced um, Edgar Allan Poe films, like uh, The Raven and you know, the fall of the house of usher and other uh films that were made during uh, that time where you know you just briefly just uh you know just take inspiration like essentially for brief the overall gist of the story from poe and then make that into a film um keep certain major beats and then just do what you can if like the story isn't doesn't have enough to make a feature length film you know there you go um but yeah uh, i also i apologize if this video is late um youtube lately has been uh sort of slow with their uploads so it was, there's only so much I can do with that. Um, that uh, the previous video I made uh, prior to this one regarding like the with Ted White's passing, you know, in this within this series, you know, that was supposed to be done um, uh, late uh, Monday, uh, October seventeenth to early in the morning uh october 18th but it was finally uploaded and published on the 19th that just shows you how slow it's been so hopefully by that time this will be up uh things will be better might be because it's halloween time and so many people are doing halloween related stuff like you know be it talking about like horror films such as uh this or something horror related or uh regarding movies or tv or video games or any comics or you know whatever it is you know or, uh, of course there's other kinds of videos but i would imagine there'd be a decent number of uh halloween related uh stuff out there this time of year so i don't know i don't know the real reason i just know and from what I've seen from others who have posted stuff that, you know, YouTube has been slow for them. They apologize for, like, whatever schedule they have. They want to try and keep it on a fairly timely manner, be it every day or every other day or whatever. But that seems to be affecting other people, so not just me. Um, but uh, hopefully by the time this will be uploaded, I'm making this on the... 21st so October 21st so hopefully in the next day or two be able to 
get this uploaded. And, uh, yeah. That's the hope, at least, but we'll see what happens. Um, but, yeah, you know, overall, the Oblong box is very good. Again, I didn't want to go into too much depth with it because this isn't a film I see people talk too much about. And so if you're interested at all, if you like Edgar Allan Poe or Vincent Price uh, or Christopher Lee or all of the above, you know, uh, and you don't know about this story or it's been so long you don't really remember much about it other than the gist of, of it, sort of like what I kind of gave, which... Not too well, but, you know, hey, uh, you do what you do, or you do what you gotta do, uh, and I just wanted to try and uh, shed a little bit of light. I already talked about it briefly, about getting it not that long ago, and hope this was a pretty decent video. I know I kind of went off a little bit on about this company that released this film, but as well as the stuff with YouTube and such, but I hope that's, uh, I, th I hope that was all right. It wasn't too boring and uneventful. And so the last thing I want to uh, mention is uh, my books. You can find these on Amazon, and ebook, paperback, and hardcover. And, uh, Western and well, three short stories. So, I hope that this video was not at all uh, too much of a waste of time. I hope this was somewhat interesting. Uh, and yeah, maybe uh, mention something that might pique your interest. I don't know if this film is streaming anywhere, so I can't really give you any information on that. You know, of course, I've got the Blu-ray, so I can watch that whatever I want. But it, I guess it wouldn't hurt to try and see if it's streaming somewhere. I don't know if it would be anywhere like Amazon or Hulu or, you know, Netflix or any major streaming service like that. Could be one of those uh, sort of obscure ones, maybe one with horror or something else. Like might be one of those free uh, services, but there's ads. I think it's worth watching at least um, once. And uh, yeah, I hope this video was pretty good. Maybe makes you know, want to seek this film see if it's any good be it streaming or physical copy whichever you know it's not too expensive at least not for me not where i live um so yeah i hope uh all of you are doing well hope all of you are having a great day hope you're a Weekend was great, and you'll have a great week also, and I'll see you all next time.